What's up, Falcon Nation? It's your boy. Let us pray. Hope you're having a blessed and prosperous Friday. I don't know why we doing this LeBron James this morning, but uh, we're here in the drive through at Carl's Jr. It's right next to my job, man. I'm not a big Carl Jr. fan, but I felt like eating on some chicken tenders. But let's get to business. Falcons versus the Texans. Deshaun Watson. Uh, Carlos Hyde. DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, this tight end named Ak Akins. Will the Falcons be able to contain these monsters uh, on Sunday? It depends what Falcons defense shows up. It depends what Dan Quinn shows up. I'm going to try to keep this video as positive as possible. I've been really ragging on Dan Quinn. Um, I've been really negative, but uh, I'm trying to keep it positive, man. Um, Falcons have shown the ability to get pressure. However, still is tough for the squad to finish these sacks. So, if the Falcons can finish the sacks, Tack McKinley has been in the backfield almost all season. Shout out to you, Tack. I see you out there working, big boy. Get that quarterback. Um, bring him down, though, big boy. We need you, man. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we need you, Tack. We need you to finish those sacks, man. Um, Deshaun Watson, I believe, is one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the league. So um, he holds on to the ball. He's always trying to make a play. He's young, so he's still learning. But he's very dynamic. He's very uh, elusive. So uh, going to have to keep him boxed in in that pocket. Can't let him uh, roll out to the right or to the left to get to scrambling because that's what he wants to do. They also will call design runs for him. Uh, they'll probably hit some RPOs, quite a few of those, with Carlos Hyde. So going to have to stay disciplined, keep the penalties down on defense. Going to have to, man, keep two guys on DeAndre Hopkins at all times. I'm thinking the Falcons need to play man-to-man. -man. Um, Two-man coverage. Man-to-man, -man, safety over the top. DeAndre Hopkins at all times. There's no excuse to be playing anything else or else this guy can't beat you by himself offensively. Um, so those are the keys on defense. Contain Deshaun Watson in the pocket. Don't let him roll out for big games to scramble. Don't let him roll out with a lot of room uh, to hit DeAndre Hopkins on broken plays. Keep a safety over the top on DeAndre Hopkins at all times. And then Tack McKinley, we need you to finish those sacks. So three keys for the defense, three keys for the offense. Um, offensive line, looks like Alex Mack will be playing today or will be playing Sunday, which is a great thing. Um, Jamon Brown will be out, so I don't know who that is puts in Wes Schweitzer possibly at guard uh, it's going to be a tough ask of uh, Schweitzer to contain JJ Watt so we're going to need uh, all hands on deck to contain JJ Watt uh, on the other side they got merciless he got the perfect name because he's merciless out there he don't give you any mercy uh, he comes in screaming he comes in angry um He's a great uh, pass rusher. Uh, well, I wouldn't say great, but he's a high energy guy. He makes a lot of plays out there. So, um, got to contain that uh, merciless guy. And uh, we can have a chance. We can have a chance if we do that. Contain JJ Watt, contain merciless. Um, I'm not even going to say we need the running game because we haven't really been running as much, but um, we need to establish an identity. Whatever we're gonna do, we gotta do that. And we gotta stick to it. 
establish an identity. I get the whole balance thing. We want to be balanced, but we have no identity right now offensively. Are we a pass first team? Are we a run first team? What are we? If we're going to run Freeman and Ito, let's stick to it. If we're going to just be a drop back and pass, three wide receivers, Ridley, Sanu, Julio, with uh, Hooper out there at tight end, let's do that. Whatever we're going to do, we got to establish an identity. So uh, that's key number two for the offense. Uh, number three, man, no turnovers. No turnovers. No turnovers. Can't afford to turn the ball over. Uh, Matt Ryan. Don't force the ball in the triple coverage to Julio. We know he's a playmaker. But uh, find the open man. You've been, you found Hooper quite a bit last game. That was good. Found Sanu. That was good. I don't know what's happening to Kyle and Ridley. His targets have been non-existent. Really. Um, but just throw it to the open man. Throw it to the open man. Don't force the ball to Julio. And double and triple coverage. If it's Ridley who's covered, don't force the ball to Ridley. Take what the defense gives you. Um, get out ahead of the chains on first down. Don't be so predictable. Run on first down. Let's get some little hit routes. Let's get some um, five yard outs. Just get some easy yards. Second and five. Second and three. Let a guy get get seven yards on first down. Then we can be more unconventional on second down because we've only got three, two or three yards. So, contain those big monster DNs. Spread that ball around. No turnovers. And then I'd say stay ahead of the chains. And the Falcons can win this game. Um, still rooting for my boys. It's your boy, let us pray. I'm sorry I don't have uh, the energy. I still got a glimmer of hope for this team. So hopefully we can pull it together. This will be a three-game losing streak if the Falcons lose today. That'd be one, uh, lose Sunday. They'll be one and four. At that time... Uh, I'll address that if it happens. So I'm rooting for my boys. Go Falcons. Let's go on the road. Let's shock people. Nobody's picking us to win this game. So, I mean, we got nothing to lose. One and three, you got nothing to lose. Go out there and play your heart out. Play hard, man. Uh, coaches, I mean, bring everything out. Fake punts. Fake field goals. Uh, what's us call that? Flea flickers. Reverses. All out blitzes. I don't care, man. I better see us trying to win this game like it's the freaking Super Bowl. Can't afford to lose three games in a row. I believe the Falcons can do it. Let's get it done. We're going to stop talking about it. We're going to do it. Stop talking about making adjustments. Stop talking about going to review and tape, making corrections. Now let's actually see something on the field. It's your boy, Let Us Pray, TGIF. Hope you're enjoying your Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll be back Sunday evening with the recap of the game versus the Texans. Rise up, Falcon Nation. Peace, and we out.